You got to go for Hello. Welcome back, I suppose, in some ways. Uh, I mean, what's, what's the feel like, first off, just kind of being around the USC Apex and, and just being around the whole property today? Gosh, honestly, uh, it feels like home, like seeing all the familiar faces. I was with the UFC for six years, so seeing everybody that I kind of like left behind, um, it feels like I'm, you know, home right where I belong. Obviously not the UFC this time around, Power Slap. How did this come together? How did this opportunity come about? You know, everyone keeps asking me that. Um, who knows? You know, I, I got called if I would do power slap. I said, absolutely. And that was it. Signed the contract. And here I am here to do power slap. And I think it's uh, exciting for me because it's like, listen, I am a gangster. Whether people want to admit it or not, I am here to slap somebody. It doesn't matter what organization, what combat sport. I'm here to take over and have some fun. Yeah, you've certainly shown a willingness to compete under any rule set. So before the call came in, had you ever even considered the option of like, eh, maybe I should reach out to them or maybe they'll reach out to me one day? Absolutely. I mean, you know, it was a conversation that we had in the gym. Everybody watches Power Slap. They've taken over. Everybody knows what it is. Everybody's seen the highlight videos. And a lot of people are like, you know, no, I would never do that. Or they have mixed emotions about it all. And for me, I'm like, yeah, I would do that, of course. I mean, I look back at my UFC career, my um, bare knuckle boxing career, everything that I've done, you can't take away how tough I am. And this is like that ultimate test of toughness. You stand there, you got to be able to have the balls to get hit. It's not a sport that hasn't had its share of controversy, right? There's some people who say it shouldn't even exist. Like, what's your answer to that? Do you, I mean, do you feel it aligns with other combat sports or there's something controversial about it? I mean, I was a part of the UFC when they still weren't legal in all 50 states. So I think it's just a matter of time before people start recognizing it. And you don't have to love everything. Everybody's entitled to their opinion, own opinion, and some people might not love it. But there's a reason that they're as successful as they are and why they're taking over the social media space, why they are getting the numbers that they are, is because people are excited and they like to watch it. Saw the training footage. Uh, I mean, how much training can you do? Is, is there training? Like, what, how, how has it been your approach to this? I feel like this is relatively similar as far as training is for, like, bare-knuckle boxing. When I train for bare-knuckle boxing, you can't have your teammates punch you in the face with no gloves on. And you can't punch your teammates in the face with no gloves on. So it's just about doing everything that you possibly can to prepare and then um, being in really good shape. Nice. Last thing for me, how are you approaching this? I mean, is this, a, is this a, hey, just, you know, I'm here for this one and we'll see, or do you feel like, hey, maybe this could be part of my journey moving forward? Like, how are you looking at this? Yeah, I, I think for me, the narrative right now, it perfectly falls in line to continue to do power slap it, it, alongside doing my boxing. I, I still intend to box again at the end of the year. I'm waiting for the date on that. And uh, this fits in line with that. It's preparation. It's preparing to cause damage and, you know, try not to take damage. But uh, inevitably in power slap, you're going to get hit. So uh, who knows? You know, I am a woman who does whatever the fuck I want. And right now I want to do power slap. Hi, Paige. Over here in the middle. Hey. Um, I saw that you were training with Austin Turpin. I'm wondering, he's a pretty wild character. What did you learn from him, and what do you think of him? Oh, Austin was incredible. Having uh, them bring out Austin, just to show me the nuances on how to be, uh, you know, how to power slap, how to hit correctly, how not to get disqualified. It was huge. It was everything that I needed to be in preparation for this. He's a character. There's a reason he's a star of power slap. Uh, so I was really, really happy they brought him out. Incredible person, and I think he's going to go really far in this, in this sport. I'm wondering if you had any talks with Sheena. She's sort of the, the, the female star, overall star of Power Slap. Did she give you any advice, or have you looked at anything that she's done, um, either as lessons of what you want to do or not do? You know, I, you know, I haven't spoken with her. I followed her on Instagram after her very first match with Power Slap. Uh, I've watched her videos. I've watched the success that she's had. I've kind of watched the nuances to see what, what worked and what doesn't. Um, so, no, she's absolutely incredible. And they really seem to be putting a lot of emphasis in women for this, um, these competitions. Is, was that part of the reason why you wanted to be a part of it? No, I, I don't really. I'm not someone who likes to do things just because I'm a woman. I do things because I want to. Um, I think it's incredible. I think women in this is going to be extremely successful, as it is in MMA. There's going to be people who don't want to see women fight in MMA or boxing. And I'm sure there's going to be people that don't want to see women in power slap. But uh, at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's entertainment industry, and that's what we're here to do. Hey Paige, right over here. Uh, just wanted to confirm, is the uh, still plans to fight in bare knuckle at some point and complete that deal or is, have you moved on from that? 
It's still on the table. I mean, I, I, currently I still have the opportunity to fight for BKFC. I loved fighting for them. They're an incredible organization. Um, I took my boxing match and again, I intend to fulfill my contract with them and fight again at the end of the year. So um, the nice thing, you know, I've had a very long career, but I'm extremely young still. So I have a lot of opportunity. I love BKFC and I do see the doors still being opened and me competing for them again in the future. And then to talk about boxing, just uh, about a month removed now, what are your thoughts on how that match went with El Brook? And is that also still the front runner for your second fight in boxing? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it went to a controversial draw. Um, not, you know, I, I think the narrative behind it, I'm excited to fight her again. Of course, I felt extremely well in the fight. Uh, that is the fight that would be at the end of the year once we get a date. And then I just want to ask about some of the other, you know, faces around. I mean, you got Rose Namajunas still doing her thing, Michelle Watterson on the card and, you know, running into her. Just what are your thoughts on some of your past opponents and just how they've been doing and just seeing everyone do their thing? It's incredible. You know, running into Michelle, she's just such a, one, a, a legend in the sport, but still extremely active. Seeing Rose compete, these are girls that I, one, grew up watching and then got to compete with them, alongside them, against them, and to see them continue to shine and make these waves for the UFC is absolutely incredible. And I'm excited mostly that I get to go compete on Friday and then I get to be at the fights. I get to be at UFC 303 and uh, have a beer and enjoy the fights as a fan. Thank you. Hey, Rich, Rich. Um, are you going to try and convince Rachel Ostovich to come do Power Slap? <laughs> I'm sure the world would love that, wouldn't they? <laughs> um, no, I, I, I do what the promotions tell me to do. Here, here. Um, when you left the UFC, you were very kind of open about your exit and where I, the reasons that you left. I don't think you said anything that was unfair or offside or anything. But now that you're back here and you have a much stronger uh, grip on what your value is and just where you've kind of fit, overall um did that change i guess how like you negotiated this deal or how how well do you feel taken care of i guess being up there compared to maybe in the past um you know i don't negotiate my deals my manager does i have an incredible management team and they took care of everything that they needed to first round management they're amazing um and i'm a businesswoman i go where i need to to capitalize where i need to i have done extremely successful with my career in combat sports and with all of my business in investments and interests outside of it. And this to me made sense. And um, it's something that I can do because I'm excited to do it. And I've set myself up, you know, leaving the UFC, I was very open that I just had opportunities to make more money somewhere else. And, and that truly was it. I love the UFC and that's the reason that I am back. But now I have set myself up where I can do whatever I want. And this is what I want to do. And as far as the match itself, I mean, depending on how this plays out, there's a possibility you could not get hit at all or you couldn't even have a chance to hit. So how much do you kind of think about like the strategy, depending on the coin toss, just all these little elements and what you can actually do when you're competing on Friday? Yeah, you know, I don't think about too much of the noise, I guess, outside. It's all the extra things. For me, it's being prepared to take three slaps and being prepared to give three. And hopefully, obviously, end it sooner than later. That's what you prepare for in the UFC and con all combat sports. You want to get it over with as fast as possible and just and perform to the best of your ability. And that's kind of what I'm looking forward to, you know, testing myself in. Paige, over here. Um, after you left the UFC, obviously, bare knuckle, boxing, now power slaps. So did you ever just miss, miss kicking people? Yes, I do a lot, honestly. Uh, the one thing that I truly, truly miss about combat sports is kicking. And I've thrown out to my manager, I'm like, you know, karate combat would be really cool too. So... Uh, no, my favorite thing in the world was kickboxing and Muay Thai. Um, but again, I love all combat sports. So there's there's opportunity for me to kick some more people. Are there any uh, former opponents that you wouldn't mind seeing across from you in power slap? Just get a free open slap on them? Oh, gosh, no. I, I feel like I am very, um, play the fence very well. And I, I just see myself like, yeah, I know that there's going to be narratives around me. I'm sure people are going to, other opponents are going to have what, their opinions on who I am as a person, but I do, I carry myself with honor and pride and dignity. And I, I don't go into this looking to be a hater. I go in there to be a competitor. And I see every single person that steps in front of me as an honorable competitor. Hey Paige. Hey, uh, some of the reaction I saw on social media to you joining this power slap card was that you're collecting sports now. Like you've talked about bare knuckle and boxing and mixed martial arts, but is there anything athletically outside of combat sports that you would be interested in doing? Gosh, I mean, of course, the karate com combat karate would be really cool. I did my share of uh, AEW, so pro wrestling, that was incredible. Um, 
No, I just, I go where the wind takes me, I guess. And, and it's true. I, I really just like to compete and I'm competitive to a fault. And at this point though, this is something I'm really, really excited to compete in. Paige, you say you go wherever the wind takes you. Do you think it could ever take you back to the UFC or ever mimic? <laughs> You know, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I, I, I'm really happy with where my career is. And I know, although, yes, um, there's doors open for me in a lot of places. And I have done a lot of combat sports. But I also like to focus my attention and energy where I need to. So I'm focused on, right now on power slap and then, of course, continuing to box. Thank you, guys. <laughs>